action, we're live from the Bake House and Cafe Brooklyn. Okay, very exciting, 2022. And we're still alive, the inflation is rising, and well, Russia is you know, threatening with a nuclear thing. We're close to the end of days. We don't know what's gonna happen. Our prophets say, don't worry, if you are in awe of God and you fear only God, you'll be fine. So don't be afraid, hold on tight, and God willing, um, we, will, we, we shall be set free. Um, so even though I said it in a joking way, that's really the way we're, we're told, that at the end of time, everything is gonna go a little bit crazy, right? To the point that some say there's gonna be a type of famine, we're gonna, there'll be no more currency, we're gonna go back to uh, agriculture and you know I give you butter, butter. you know butter you give me eggs or we're gonna exchange how you call it barter barter which word border it's the border or the border exchange from one border to the other how do you spell that B A R T A R it's like barter okay why not sounds good um, and. And uh, we're gonna really, and you know what? It's gonna push us to be united. Because if you're, and I feel bad for the non-Jews, truly, not as a joke, I truly feel, because most non-Jews are not united. And when you're in a crisis, your community, your, or your family, or your community, where your Jewish community, it's, it's all united. Where I live, someone needs this, everybody's here, you know, my car is stuck, my, I don't have any more eggs, uh, no more electricity, like, it's a, it's a big family and then we can rely on each other. So it's one, we're strong all over the world. Whenever this, like in Ukraine, you had all the Lubavitcher uh, uh, rabbis saving many lives or giving them food and all Lubavitch from the world sent, whatever, it was a, so there's a unity with that, that we have that is unique in the world and that is supposed to be a role model for how people are supposed to live, that we're just one big family. It's not supposed to be just Jews. It's just, everybody should live like that, but since we, we say, oh no, you know, he's a different color, or a different ethnicity, or a different race, or a different religion, or then we say, oh no, it's not family, and um, we lose the purpose of the world, which is to be one, one big family. Um, right now we're still a bit dysfunctional. But we will get there, you know. That's why I became a social worker also to be able to, you know, do some therapy on uh, people, I guess. On, 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 <laughs> on people, on, on everyone. We all need therapy. Today, if someone who doesn't have a therapist is the one who is really sick, <laughs> um, we, all, we all need, it doesn't have to be a therapist, but we all need like, or a social worker, or a therapist, or someone who, has clarity or a guide or spiritual I disagree. Rabbi. I think we just need nature. I think we need nature and we need to start eating things that are raw and I think we're all we'll be fine. Um, how do you, wh wh why do you think, I mean I do agree that this can definitely help, but why do you think this is going to enable people to understand that they are family and that that's how, how, a certain way how they have to treat each other? No, but that, I'm saying because you were like, Oh, no, no, I didn't mean that way. You're right, yes. If we ate, eat, eat healthy, most of the problems we have comes from the way we live, uh, unhealthy and eating, I agree 100%. Um, what I meant is that in terms to, of human relationship, that's what I meant. I think also people's brains would be more clear. Um, that's true. People would, um, they'd be, if they're in nature, they'd be detoxing better so that they would feel more calm. Also, looking at the trees, there's like some like antidepressant things and like... That's true. I will agree with you uh, completely, um, but the. the <laughs> it reminded me of the, that thing I saw with cows to make more milk. They put on these VR headsets during the winter. Are you green, serious? Listen, listen, a green grass. That's, that's not a joke. And you see them on both eyes. <laughs> I hope it's a joke. And I wouldn't like be surprised if that's something. Grass like that. indoors and like a beautiful blue sunny sky and wow. it's really like snowy and everything and they're making more milk. Then they think it's, wow. it's beautiful. And it's well, so, it's a thing also like why so we different stuff and that's why it tastes better. 
that's crazy right? because they know they have VR for animal uh, for human beings but VR for that wow that's crazy but now they do VR therapy you know it's a new, it's a new thing yeah they they started coming with the new uh, all their pieces and the experiment um, yeah because if you in nature like so because the mind doesn't know the difference between reality and you know uh, illusion <laughs> Uh, imagination so um, but so I would agree but I think there's one thing still missing because since the beginning of time in the past before the, re the, the industrial revolution uh, you know with Adam and he was in Ghana and there was still something lacking and I mean I spoke about it one time is the, the trauma of, of life of being born already being born is a trauma the trauma of detachment I think that's what most people suffer from. We we need true love, and unless we are, in, if we're nurtured in a healthy family or in a healthy friends, or then then I will I would say your nature or you'll have enough. But unless you are not given the love that you deserve, you you nature won't be enough. It will give you a lot of clarity and maybe in a way to find the love on your own. But so. why? Adam couldn't find it. He had all the nature in the right. world. And it no, if, you're, if, you're, if you're a smart you're guy a and, and you learn, so because some people became found, found uh, love and were good. Right? Maybe go. Yeah. Hey! Oh! Yeah. It's Eve. It's Eve. Look, people say love, but love. I think it's like different. Oh yeah, the, the, yeah. It's not, it's not what people think. It's, 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 it's not. Connection. It's a genuine I, I give you a hug. I never uh, gave you a hug with, with, with a, you know, precious. Yeah. It's an honor. Uh, how is it going? Better? Like that? It is what it is. I'm glad it's just your leg. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. How many weeks more before? You? Six. Six. Okay, getting there. Six. So, I want to know what love is. Well, yes, indeed, I want to know. And we all know want to know what love is because, in a way, we're all looking for it. Um, but because of the way we're exposed with the movies and Netflix and whatever, the, you know, like that. Now they have all those shows with love, like Love is Blind, uh, Too Hard to Handle. Uh, what, do they, what do they have? Uh, I don't know. They have yeah. like tens. They, 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 there's one. It's actually there's one that came out <laughs> for the eyes or just for the um, uh, uh, um, there's a show uh, the, the, it's an uh, ultimatum where you give the ultimatum if by this date you don't choose to marry that's it and then they have a show where they get married perfect match they get married before they know each other yeah, yeah. Oh, I heard about that. That's, right? that's something before you, um, <laughs> man, I know all this it's, cra right? it's crazy, right? <laughs> this is the funniest show in the world. Right? It's like, because this guy's like, oh, this was, is from Africa, right? <laughs> like, this was not what I was expecting. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, so well, yeah. disappointed in the transaction. <laughs> so, no, so, so he's just like, I love him. <laughs> He's not gonna tell me what to do. You know what I'm saying? He's like, well, you are my woman. You will listen to me. <laughs> There's a lot of crazy things because I guess you. you know it's there. There are certain concepts in it. Yes, that love is not just falling in love. It's like about learning to embrace the other for who he is. But still, you know. It, in, in, in Judaism, there's a, there's, there's a way of love, a way to get married that is told by us from God, you know, and if we have been told that you need to see the person first before you get married, because you cannot marry someone you're repulsed by. That's not true. Either. No, no, repulsed. No, yeah, that's true. That's Allah. That's Allah. You have to see the person first. You have to see his wife first. Yep. I mean, he was technically married to her. No, no. He well, before he smiled, brought, he, he brought her in. He was, he was not married. And he gave her all the. He gave her all the. Oh, you mean that? He that, was, that was technically engaged to her. I hear. I hear. He was here. But yeah, he didn't he until he until he said, said yeah. He could have said no after seeing her. He didn't know she existed. You know, but, but, like, but we know they were all very. He liked they, 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 they knew that kind of family. It, she's kind of brother. They knew. 
like about what he's getting, but it, it's hard to have kids. With the source she had, she was pretty beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> but but no, I hear so. But it's we know that in the past, you know, you know. Listen, Cain Cain and Hebel. I don't think it's gonna. Cain and Hebel married their sisters. The things were different in the past. Oh, yeah. It was more spiritual. You know, root came from a father yeah. sleeping with his daughters. So we have, we have a different. <laughs> but but it, it, was, it was a different world out there. It was the spirituality was an entire. No, no. When the daughters, no, the daughters, the daughters, drunk. They, the daughters got him drunk. They got him drunk. Yeah, but they, they had, they had good intention. Oh, for sure. That's why that guy was like, yo, these people were like disgusting. They came to me in a dream, and they were like, yo, yo and they freaked him out. <laughs> right, right, right. It's, it's you don't disrespect the dead, right? No. <laughs> But, that, but yeah, but that, that's a different, different. But the idea is, yes, today the people are desperate to find the cure for love or how how to find true love, and we are not um, understanding that we have we have a divine uh, guide on how love works because we we, ouch, we can only understand truly who we are. Broken? Yeah. No, 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 no. We're good. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah, we're good. My good. phone never breaks. Wait. How many times I drop? Oh, okay. It's okay. so weird. She, 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 she can, she oh. can take care of a work phone. Do you have a source for the for the phone? It's damaged. Okay, work damaged. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> but the phone is an extension of your limbs, no? Only oh, okay. And, and what? Mental. Mental. But yeah. the phone is like your brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, but the idea is that un until today, people are desperate to for love, and they they and how many books are on love, and how many shows, and how many. At the end, we don't want to accept that love has to be unselfish. That love has to be something where I learn to embrace the other, the other learn to embrace me, and uh, I learn to communicate with. With uh, with my heart, with goodness, with the, the good, good intention, it's it's, and the reason we are not there is because we feel hurt. We are we have been so hurt in our lives that when told in constant fight, flight, or freeze mode, and and therefore whenever someone talks to you, you're already on the offense, uh, on the defensive, right, or offensively, or defensive. Well, he thinks a good way to do it nowadays. What? Because now it's like you're talking basically strangers. I mean, some people they're friends first, and they get no. So like, for the majority, it's just it's complete strangers. Who, like really exactly. Like, so first step yeah. is not to look at others as strangers. Right. Treat everyone like you treat your family. Mm -hmm. I Meaning, speak to them like if you have a healthy family. Sometimes we come from abused family, so that's different. The majority. But yeah. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, most of us. Yeah, we all. We all uh, the world is very dysfunctional today. <laughs> but 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 let's say you know we have sometimes some family members that we're close to or really good friend, best friend. So treat everyone like they are because in truth we're all just brothers and sisters, right? After there is a difference of mission between the Jew and the non-Jew, but we're still. Part of the same man, Adam, a man and woman, Adam, and and that male-female energy has been split throughout the world, and now we need to to realize we are all really one unit, right? So when you when you treat someone like that, right? And and, and when I, I, I when I go to the subway, or well, it has been a while I didn't go, but since Corona, but if you go to the subway or you meet someone in the taxi, don't look at that person or speak to him like. Yeah, you know, like just it, it, if you were with your best friend, or at least even just a good friend, say, "Hey, how are you today? You know, hope your day is good." You know, um, um, and and you you have um, a nice voice conversation with the stranger, it changes everything. Because then, when you know, there's two things in life: or you are the influence, or you are being influenced. So. You can go in a taxi and you're influenced by the by the way people are. So everybody's cold and separated. And, you know, I don't I have nothing to do with you. I don't know you. You know, 
Or you can be the influence. What? It's only in New York. No, 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 trust me, it's not just in New York. (laughs) I've traveled the world. I mean, the world. A lot of places. It it depends cities, if it's true, it depends communities. If you you go to the Amish, they love you, you know? (laughs) No, I mean, they. Most, most, actually, most. More tribes or things like that, you know, unless they have been persecuted, but by the white men, then they 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 all welcome you, you know. They'll give you their their daughter to marry instantly. <laughs> <laughs> no, you saw they they was uh, on Facebook. Uh, They've never seen a person before. What? Because they never seen a person before. No, no, no. I'm not talking those those. But these black these black tribes, they are they are very loving, and they have the role. It's an honor to give your daughter to marry to. Anybody? They just want the money that comes to that. I don't know. Yeah, you go. Like, marry my daughter. Money comes. Yeah, my wife. Maybe, maybe. But the idea, <laughs> but, you know, no, maybe, no, maybe. No, but the idea no, is in, yeah, yeah. in in the com- in the countryside, in the in pe- native in uh, Americans and all, all those tribes are usually very open and to share with you and to uh, they're much more spiritual, so they are there's a bigger connection. Yeah. Um, Nowadays. Yeah, now it's it's rare, but we have to we have to go back to that. I'm saying I, I feel like they weren't so much like in, in back in time. Sorry. These tribes weren't so like open in like back in like. No, but we yeah. because we killed them all. Well, yeah, so we killed a lot of them probably, <laughs> but they were doing a lot of crazy stuff to themselves. Correct. Well, the pen crazy good maybe. Tribes about. It depends the shrooms or whatever. Whatever <laughs> it is. The Mayans were sacrificing people left and right. Oh, okay. Well, they, there was idolatry the stuff. Like, yeah, Some tribes were, were I was doing. They gave them smallpox, and they right. died. Like after that hundred years span, they were just died off. Yeah, it was wild. They didn't even know what they were doing. They were just like rolling through their guy, and like here's some smallpox for you, and like. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Obviously, there are some crazy stuff, and but no. but overall. Um, you and you're saying the tribes are more welcoming. You know? Usually, people yeah, well, people are more connected to nature and yeah. and 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 well, that's earth sure. are more that's spiritual right. and more welcoming. Then you have know? like total opposite. Right. Yes. Like they'll skin you. Yeah, the cannibals. They're just the cannibals. No, because they're connected to to nature. Because right. who cares? You just look like a nature. good a good plant. You look you like a good look, shroom. Yeah, and there's, but there's, in in my soup, you you give me great right, protein. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, you Yes, yes. All right. Um, so why we say all that? We say all that because we we are talking about yes. life, about today. What we need to work on. What what's our trajectory? What what do we need to be focused on? And we need to be focused on connecting to. And that's one of the reasons we learn Torah. Why we're here is try to connect to that inner wisdom that really is actually in nature, hidden in nature. You know, actually it says that in Talmud that if the Torah had not been given at Mount Sinai, we would have been obligated to learn the Torah from nature, right? But you have to be able to decode nature because if you just want to be like a lion right. and I'm hungry, <laughs> you know, you can't just be king of the jungle. But is there a way to realistically decode a book from like plants and animals? Yeah, so we have Peric Shira, which yeah. is that, that, that tells you what an, every animal sing and say, and from there you can learn lessons. Everything is a lesson, right? right? But just like every animal is part of the harmony of life, you need to find out how you benefit the whole system also, right? right. And, and so, yeah. So, so we, we, we have to get there, that's, that's, that, that's the trick. Um, so thank God we're coming close to Shavuot, and Shavuot is the, the moment where uh, we kind of reaffirm our commitment. Um, the way I like to put it is our wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary, everyone! Yeah. Right? Um, we got married there. We got married with God, right? And that's why it says the, the heart scene was like a chupa. Um and, and, and there's really three main ways to look at Shavuot, okay? One way is the anniversary, because basically what happened there is we make the commitment to have a relationship with the divine, with the creator, with mother, universe, whatever is out there, we don't know exactly um, 
you know, we have names for it, but it's beyond us. But he wants us to communicate with with him. And uh, on on Shemini was the commitment to learn to have a relationship with Hashem. And he gave us our ketubah, the chumash, where um, where he tells us his his responsibility towards us and our responsibility towards him. I mean, our responsibility is like, like the man uh, under the the chupai say, "Ariad mekudeshet li," right? He's about to give the key, the <laughs> the ring. It could be key. Here's my Lexus. You know, I'm marrying you with my Lexus, which you can do technically according to Allah, because it, just the ring is more romantic. I'm sure. I'm sure. Would you like Rolls Royce? Rolls Royce. Either a ring or like a or, or Lamborghini. Why do you prefer the ring or Lamborghini? What? Ring. She's a real lady. Yeah. 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 Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Let, let, let's not push it. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where is, is, you know. House key, and that's a ring. Right. Oh, that's a smart idea. Oh, house key. Shark tank. Oh, oh you're like, like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so, so you, the, the man asks, and the woman didn't accept. She chose this also, but by showing she accepts the. Accept, accept the, the relationship. So that's basically what happened at Mount Sinai when God proposed, mm-hmm. right? And we say, Nasib Nishma, we accept and say, Yeah, I'm in. And, um, and therefore, so what is interesting, you know, that according to some opinion, because we say, like, okay, what was given at Har Sinai, right? What's Zman Matan Torah Deinu, the time of the giving of the Torah? First of all, if you think about it, the Torah is not this per se. The Torah means instruction. The Torah means more like the, 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 the tools that they can use to be in love with me, to have a, a healthy relationship with me. At Mount Sinai, we, we, we didn't receive the Torah. We didn't. What did we receive? What, at Mount Sinai? Yeah. That's how they bought. And even according to some opinion, that's our like, one opinion. But it's pretty radical. Which most right? people agree. Because God like tells you in the Torah to keep the whole Torah, right? Not even in if you Torah. if you keep, if if you want to keep it. No, no, He says keep the whole Torah. No, He commands the whole. Torah. No. no, only after we chose, after we after we, we make the commitment. Right. He says if you break the dishes or if you don't wash, bring the garbage out. Right. <laughs> I kick you out. <laughs> Meaning, but he laid down the law. He's well, like, right, he, fine, be, no, now we, you have to keep the whole Torah. Right. Very. Okay. Right. Right. Like, like, we, we don't even have half the stuff that we do. Right. Does it expect us to do the thing we can't do? That's right. true. Also, and nowadays, you out of the six hundred thirteen commandments, you can do max two hundred seventy. Right. Max, and 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 most people, and and, we, and it's less than that because some people are not Kohanim, some people are uh, men, some people are women, some people are. There's all types. So so. You, 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 about 150 or 180 commandments per person, so right. it's, it's not much. But us as a nation, I'm saying, like that relationship seems like really broken. Like if that's the chain to God and we can't do half of it, then it's like. But it's not in, in a way. In a way, yes, because right. a lot of the commandments is in Israel, and God is saying, "Come back, come back <laughs> to me now." <laughs> no, no, no. God is waiting for us to come back, and we have been comfortably numb. Right? Fire, it, like even Pink Floyd made a song about it. Comfortably yeah. numb, and we are we're, we're in Galus, in exile. And I speak to people, say, Israel? Yeah. Nah, I, I'm not into Israel. Like, you're, you're not into your home? It's like, it's like a, 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 a woman, you know, she, you know, it's her husband at home, and she's, she's at work, so it's, so uh, what, what, uh, What's, well, there is like what's your plan today? You want you are you excited to go back home? Eh, home to, no, uh, not really. Uh, I rather just go to the bar, the club. Uh, home is not. I mean, that, right? There's I hear the appeal from like a really spiritual person. Uh, there is like a huge like globalist like overtaking of like. I don't know if like you know like we have Oh now you mean I'm just saying like all over the world like Oh yeah yeah we, yeah we have instant communication with everybody like and our cultures are just so like 
intertwined when we get to like understand like what do you mean it's not you true? Go in, it's not the same. You go into Israel and experiencing it and all that, it's if you're like it's so spiritual. different than talking to someone there or seeing a picture of the hotel or something like that. It is and it isn't. I'm saying if you have all of these places like instantly you see it like twenty four seven, like Yes, that's you, true. You yeah, and, 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 yourself. It's just like if somebody wasn't like you know, stuff on the internet. No, and that, and that's like, that's a problem. Desensitizes himself to that's a problem. The, the fact the fact that I can be anywhere through Zoom, you know, it's like oh yeah, now put VR. It's like I'm uh, you, now we have VR. Yeah. Not only that, you don't need the best amygdala. So now you can VR and walk in the best amygdala 3D, and you're like the Cohen, and you, you, you can see. It's maybe, like, maybe we're gonna be able to, to harness energy to the point where we can run our consciousness through some type of machinery what? and mm -hmm. infinitely exist. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, mean I, I like the way you think. In, in a way, you know, our imagination creates our reality. We know that to be true already. Um, and and being in Gan Eden is a state of consciousness. There's a company that, right? will, that will freeze your brain for like twenty thousand dollars just in case they figure out how to turn you back on. That's crazy. Well, yeah, well, that's there crazy. There are animals that freeze, that, that freeze brain with, with the weather. Uh, the animals freeze with the, no alligators. But they have, they can, they can actually, they actually can sink below and they can hibernate for a long time. Right. So then we, we want, we want, we, we have the ability to become like Avatar. Huh? Avatar, Avatar, you know the blue guy? Oh yeah. Oh the red. So technically we should be blue, not like the Smurf, but like Avatar. It's more advanced. <laughs> uh, and and Avatar was able to connect to the animal, to nature, to the whole matrix of life and feel life, right? So. Well, that's every, that's that's Avram was the first avatar. I mean Adam really technically, right? But but he wasn't blue. He was more well, light. Avatar of light. You can't see. And and then and then he came so to the big blue planet. What was like the previous of that? What? People didn't connect with the land. They just disrespected or didn't have respect or. People Before more Avram. No oh, before no. When they, there was Adam, he started with Avram, and there were a few individuals who could connect. That's why Adam could communicate with animals, even to the. You know, he had people like Shlomo uh, Amelech who could communicate, understand the language of the tree, of the wind, of, of the animals, uh, of the birds. And we have even today, I don't know if you know that, but there are, there are, there's a very famous woman. I'm very bad with names, but I can send, send you on the chat if you want to send you after. Uh, there's more than one, but she's an expert and she, she can communicate with animals. She's very famous with uh, Black Panther, um, Diablo, and the, the whole story. And it's, it's, nowadays, it's not, it's not fiction. It's not fiction, I promise. Wow. It, it, you, they, it's telepathic communication, and she knows, and there's a community, you see. Uh, it's one of these things that you never know. No, no, you know. She could be. No, 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 no. You know. It's there, there is. See, the problem is that we are you very skeptical of certain things. But there, if you if you watch the videos, right, and you can you can go train there with her. She's in South Africa, and she teach you how to communicate. And uh, and there are many of, of people. Like that. It's 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 a uh, it's a training. You, how much is this course? I don't know, I just check online. <laughs> but I, I want to do it. If, if one day I have the money, if I have the, the time and, mo and money, I will, I will go do it. I want to go. Because it teaches you, if you can do that, you can do that with humans, right? Yeah. It's, uh, and with humans, it should be technically easier. But you have to be receptive. I have people with whom I've been like connected, and I know when that person thinks of me, and and. We, we verify whenever, whenever through texting, and it's fascinating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're in sync. Ideally, with husband and wife, they're reconnected. That should be a given. But sometimes people are empath or very spiritual. They, I know whenever I think of that person, she, she or he thinks of me right away. It's a, uh, and that's yeah, been that many that. times. It's, I would call someone, and they like called a bunch of people, and they've been like, oh, I'm just about. To and we and we have it sometimes, yeah, right? Yeah, right? Yeah. And, or, or why you wa you walking in a, you know you walk in Israel and they, and there are six million Jews my friend, my friend. and you All bump friend. in your friend within the six million Jews in Israel you bump in your your friend that's from <laughs> from back home that like how do you recognize and see each other among the you know the thousands of people there because the, the soul they connect there's no coincidence we we think it's coincidence. 
So talking about that, that, you, that, that unity, um, right, right now we were during the 49 days getting ready for, for the wedding, right? You know, so you know if you want to be get, get ready for a wedding, you need at least 50 days. Yeah. Um, and Pesach was kind of the engagement, right, Passover. And what do we do on Passover? You know, we, we have a, a big lechaim with some uh, matzah and, <laughs> or, or uh, what? Seven day engagement is pretty long. Uh, seven, se seven week? Seven day oh, oh, pretty long. Oh, well, yeah, seven day party. Oh, seven day. Yeah, but we, we do it class. You know, like, we're, we're not, it's, it's we're Should royal. Like, it's I'm royal. royal. You, it, put down the no, no, it, champagne. Uh, you have, how many stories of those royalties who make, you know, parties like, I mean, Akash did 180 uh, days uh, party, right? Oh, he actually did seven day party also. Anyway, um, the well, idea is. Yeah, like engagement and and then you have the wedding. And what do you have, have those forty nine days, fifty days? It's forty nine days. It is a refinement. We're 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 getting. We're working on ourselves, on our character traits. Every day, every counting is supposed to be a day where I refine myself to be able to. Uh, connect to my to the love of God and to the love of myself and to the love of others on a high level right so we are working on character refinement so that when we reach Shavuot we are ready to receive a higher a next level of consciousness on how to relate to humanity okay on Shavuot it's what we are trying to experience it's a moment of clarity consciousness to be a vessel pure enough to be able to receive our next level of I'll call it consciousness, next level of reality, right? We, we have to understand that we are like spiritual beings covered with a body, with skin. You, did you all see the matrix? The, what? the matrix? See the Matrix! Oh my gosh! How can you understand Judaism without the Matrix? <laughs> the Matrix is a movie um, that was made 20 years ago at least, and um, I cannot really explain it. But what, what I want to do is I'm going to do one night where I'm going to watch the Matrix and explain to you how it explains it, it explains what Judaism is and um, we what? They would show us movies oh. And then which seminary do you go to? Bermuda. Yeah, right. I like Bermuda. Yes. <laughs> that's that's uh, it, it, and and it's really that my rabbi does the same thing. So he, he this movie really gives you the essence. And you, they didn't show you the Matrix. They did. Ah, they did. I don't know. It's in like the couch room, and like all the lights are on. Okay. Obviously, <laughs> I was not giving the class. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to fall asleep. Yeah. yeah. We actually I hear that. It, it depends who, okay? <laughs> if, if, if the person's snoring, you know it's not working. You could definitely learn that. Yeah, I did that. I think it's like scientifically. Is, is that? I don't know. Our memories are stored permanently while you are sleeping, but they're created while you're awake. No, but it's true, you, you think, because you can go with a math problem at night and wake up and find the solution in the morning, yeah. right? You come with a question, math question at night, in the morning you can find a solution. There are people like that, right. they, can, they can, if you are, use your mind well, properly. Yeah. So do you guys like put, like, if you're studying for a test, you put the paper under your head? Does that help you? I feel like it helps you. Oh, I never math. tried that. <laughs> yeah. no, I've been to school in like five years. And did, no, you, like, did you ever try that? I did, and I remembered it better. Okay, good. Oh, I, mean, wow. it, 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 I suck it. I mean, I'm bad at wow. school. Wow. Ask me how to study for a test. Oh, welcome to the <laughs> class. <laughs> so, yeah, I dare you. Uh, ask me how to study for a test. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, they're different, different, you know, and, and we're different types of, we all learn differently in different styles. Um, I'm, I'm much more visual. That's why I love movies. I, 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 yeah, I, 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 I
and the hot and my what? Brian Kellish. Yes. Feel like you're also a kinesthetic learner if you learn like fashion. Yes. Yes. And so, um, so one of the things that we we need to to understand. By the way, right now within the three days, right? There were three days before Mount Sinai, before the giving of the Torah, where we were preparing, mm -hmm. right? Actually, the men had to separate from the women, so they, they stopped being like animals, you know, for the mm -hmm. case. And they focused a little bit on being, have pure thoughts, um, and, and prepare their body to be completely uh, pure, to be a pure vessel to receive. Oh, so that's what I was talking. As you in the matrix, uh, that's gonna hard to explain. Basically, uh, the idea, there are all the movies also where the whole Basically, concept of, of, of downloading, no, 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 I don't want to explain that. The, the idea that the, the brain is like a computer, it's, a, it's like a hard drive, and our neshama is connected to the server. So you can download into your server or into your uh, hard drive what, whatever you need to know. Right? So it's a download. So we, we, we ask this why when we pray, say, God give me Chokhmah bin Adas. Right? Give me the software to understand the world. Give me the 4D glasses so I can see you as uh, my family, not as strangers. And, and on Shavuot, that's where you get the, you program the, the speed of the download and the quantity of the download for the whole year. It's, it's like you go to someone who has very important information, and uh, and you go to that person. It's like I want, I want to know everything about you. I want, I want to love you. I want to understand you. I want to be close to you. So that person will so say, okay, fine. I'll give you a download of myself, so to speak. You know, uh, to know more about myself for your for you to get closer. The more you show you have that desire, right? the more the person wants to download into you what you need to understand, right? So, so it's, it's a little bit what, what we're saying. We are, we are now preparing, right, we're in, the, in the three days, but it was 49 days in total, where we are coming and saying, we're trying to get excited. And by the way, according to the Zohar, everybody knows the Zohar? The main book of Kabbalah? You know of the Zohar. Of the Zohar, yes, of the Zohar. Um, so the Zohar says, why is it seven weeks? Because it corresponds to the seven weeks of a nida, of a, of a woman who is nida. Everybody knows what a woman is, what it means? Yeah? You are familiar with it? So, and who is the woman? The, Jew, the, the Klal Israel, the Jewish people. And and by the way, it teaches an entire new way how to understand Nida. People have a tendency to Why think... Seven? Oh, because according to Rai, seven days, yeah. To wait oh, seven days to seven be days. a man, a uh, woman can unite again together. Physically. Seven weeks. So seven no, weeks. no, because in Judaism, all numbers correspond. Meaning it's seven weeks, it's seven times seven. It's seven weeks, um, it's always seven days in seven. details, basically. Seven times seven. But the idea is to go deeper into the seven. So it's a cycle where I'm supposed to use in order to get excited. There's a countdown. When do we count in Judaism? During Sfera Saomer and during Nida, the woman's counting. So, so don't want to lose my train of thought. Um, no, I can't give it. No, no, I'm trying. I've a lot of food. We will. You're gonna be here for, for Schwartz? Yeah. <laughs> I thought I thought I thought you loved me. I do, but there's other issues. There's someone else? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh -huh. I, I'll, I'll, need, I'll need to be uh, you guys want a salad? I'm good. Yeah? Salad? It's nature. It can help your brain and your traumas. <laughs> um, 
So uh, um, the idea of nida is not that oh the woman is impure and da, 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 that's 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 nothing to do with that. It has to do with a seven day countdown to work on oneself both in the communication and the excitement about what it is that we have together as in a relationship and how we can go and go to the next level. Because you don't want your marriage next month to be the same as the previous month. Because then you're in a cycle, but there's two types of cycles. There's a, this type of cycle, which is boring, boring the same, and there's this type of cycle, mm -hmm. which is, goes higher and higher. And that's, that's right, yeah! No? <laughs> no, okay, it's just short. Uh, it's my cowboy um, jeans. But the idea is um, that we, we, we are like God's spouse, and we're supposed to get excited and to we have that whole countdown. The more we make our relation with God real and exciting, as if it's a real human relationship, the more we get, um, it becomes real. And the more you get the tools you need to experience God in a real way during, in your life. So if somebody doesn't have that, then they can't really experience a relationship with God? Well, no, the, well, that's not true. There's many different levels of relationship. You might not be able to experience fully the relationship as, as a uh, husband and wife, but there's uh, father-daughter, mother-daughter, um, boyfriend, uh, 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 Brother, sister, um, rabbi, uh, mentor, teacher, master. No, uh, but I mean, it also, they, there's all types of relationship, and all those relationship they exist because this one of the type of relationship we can have with God. The highest, the climax of all of them, at the end, is husband and wife. What's the last relationship you have in your life? Well, it's you and your wife. You know, one really has to be like conscious, like when they're holding. Right, so we, we, need, we need to create a balance. But God, God is telling us, actually in the prophets, that... Everyone's got a different one. Yeah, we, we, we cannot claim we all have the same experience of God. Right. Um, but there is a common, co common consciousness common, and unity. Yeah, common shared amongst people. Right, and, idea of the and the idea of, of a creator of, of beyond, of in on Milvado. And after that, everybody, obviously, if you were, you know, abused by your father and you call God your father, it's going to be very hard. Mm -hmm. And most people who have experienced that are not doing good with God in general, with Judaism. They, 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 they can't, it's, it's, it, and it's not healthy. They need, they need to earn, to make God, because if you think of uh, if God gave me that father, so God is doing this to me, right? So it's psychologically. Um, it's, always, it's always God doing everything. Right, always. right. It's never but, anybody else. Well, yes, uh, but there's still a part of free. Is God allowing free choice to be expressed in this world? For and sometimes sure. it can be expressed. But the idea is to be able to differentiate between the fact that God, everything God does is good, and not what everybody human a human being does is good. One hundred percent. Right. That's 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 the challenge, but. Um, the idea is to try to um, make our relation with God real and take the healthy relationship that we have experienced in our lives and use that um, to talk to, to have it with God. Um, so that's the first thing. The first thing is it's like a, rela a relationship or your engagement and marriage, and we are celebrating our anniversary. So imagine how you will celebrate your anniversary. So you make the same thing. You know, because you don't have to be married, but you know, if you have a boyfriend or girlfriend, say, okay, you know, you have a one year or one month anniversary, uh, what, what do you do? You don't do it. Well, they, no, some do. I know people who do. Yeah. Do they? Oh, it's our three day anniversary. <laughs> Four day anniversary. <laughs> you know, I, true, like uh, deep lovers. I don't, I don't call it love necessarily, but like passionate people. That's like they, it's, like, it's, it's, you know, it's cute. It makes me gag a little bit. Oh my god, every two months, it's like. Two months, three days, five minutes, 30 seconds. 
I keep counting. I guess worse. People people send pictures throughout the day at specific times, and they wait. The brain works like that. They wait for those times on the clock. Mm. They recognize the four o'clock. And before eleven comes up, and they have to send a picture, and then they're anticipated to four ten, and then there's like three numbers in a row. You have to just sit there for five minutes taking pictures, sending it to everybody. Kill Caesar. For every anniversary that we have. Thank you, John. Shkoya. Thank you. Right, right. So, so that's the first, the first way to look at it. Um, number two is um, the idea of recognizing that God is is our way to real freedom. Meaning, Pesach and Shavuot are connected, right? Pesach is a Yom Tov and Shavuot is a Yom Tov but re, but, and you have 50 days that we count in between meaning there's a connection between the beginning and the end technically Shavuot is the end of Pesach is when we have developed the skills to be truly free if you're truly free you know it, it's like free your mind also in the matrix free your mind in order to be able to receive you know sometimes if you at work or you're busy with work you know, and you're trying to have a relation with someone, you can't. Your mind is too busy to, or you, you don't, you can't laugh, or you can't have, right. be at tranquil, uh, calm, because your mind is too. So you have Pesach. What do you do in those situations? Uh, you know the Om. <laughs> no, you can meditate, you can go in nature, you can. Um, no, that's uh, very breathing, very breathe. Nature. Breathing, breathing is very important. Uh, breathing, breathing, uh, healthy breathing brings you right away back to your soul because the soul was sent to breath. So it's um, so most meditation also with breathing. Um, and yeah, nature, breathing, and meditation, praying will help you disconnect them. Ice bath? Yeah. Wim Hof? Yeah. Um, Wim Hof. Yeah. Wim Hof, sorry. Yeah. My dad does it all the time. He does it? He mm -hmm. talks to me about it all day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wim Hof. Wim Hof, oh, okay. it's the it's ice the, man, basically. Guy who goes and does the craziest he, stuff. He basically is able to water. regulate the temperature of his body just by breathing and mental exercise. And he can basically stay for half hour, 45 minutes in ice cold water like iceberg place uh, which technically impossible for for human being to do that because you you get a heart attack and your body you know freezes and die um, but he basically has learned to regulate his body and he can stay under water for I think 15 minutes also like longer than most people um, and it was verified scientifically he's, he's world famous now you can check on YouTube and uh, and basically he leaves you know, you see him walking barefoot yeah, in yeah. the snow, and he's has just like a little t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> like, like spent it, years and years. Right, of yeah, it's years of, of training. And, and went to atmospheres that force your lungs to expand like that, right. and right. your body to accumulate to the temperatures. Yeah, they, they, for sure. They, like, if you want to be that extreme, like 100%. So it, it, I just don't think like you could have like you just walk around naked in New York. No, like, yeah, no. Degrees, you know, like he <laughs> 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 just like. Uh, I get it, like the breathing, like it's good, and it definitely does, like, like breathing it really intensely, but... Yeah, know, there's, there's a, uh, I forgot how it's called exactly, but there's a type of breathing also that is, it's called tropical breathing inside, and you can have actually almost psychedelic... Yeah, you can have psychedelic... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. it's, right. Uh, so anyway, people who know Tony Robbins uh, type of things and, uh, uh, you know, ayahuasca, all that, all that stuff, um, nowadays, we, can, no? ayahuasca. <laughs> we won't need ayahuasca. I'll be there. You guys want to do it? That'd be insane. My bonfire. Let's get, let's get high as well. <laughs> well, I want to contribute. I get high on God, and there's nothing higher. You won't get that high on God. Huh? You won't get that high on God. No, no. Maybe he on, on my own. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah. With the guy. Trust me. Did I hear before that you said you can, you can breathe as a way to, to like use psychedelics? Yeah, well, that, that, that is, no, you, you get, get your mind in a state you, you, of trance. You like right. entrance yourself into like a, a 
feel the type of It releases chemicals in your brain, which yeah. is the same chemicals that Sakai will, will release, and, yeah. and you're able to achieve a certain... But they don't way. attach to the same receptor that no. it's attached to. Now, so now, nowadays, we have more and more new age, new style of therapy, but we, we, we learn to discover how our body works. Yes, you know, your, your body technically has everything it needs to heal itself. Yeah. On medication, all that—it's all stored in there, and we just we just don't know how to use ourselves, our body, and our soul. And when we, one of the thing with Moshia is that we're gonna come to a, a state where we won't need doctors anymore. We won't need because we will be able to be in touch with the reality of the world and the reality of who we are. And the Balatanya, for example, says that the root of your body is higher than you, the root of your soul. Which means that within your body hides a tremendously powerful life. Until now, we have been fighting the physical and material. Oh no, it's bad. It's temptation. It's it's no, it's materiality, physical. And now we're saying no, no, no. Yes, it can lead you to just if you focus just on the physical pleasure. Yeah, then you can become like an animal. But hiding behind that shell, just like your body hides your soul, then anything. The table has its own soul, and uh, so to speak, the sparks spirituality. And if you know how to use that, then you can use it to um, to be in complete harmony and symbiosis with the world. Uh -huh. Do you believe in ghosts? Sorry. Do you believe in ghosts? Yeah, of course. Who wouldn't believe in ghosts? Are you scared of them? <laughs> no, not at all. They're my best friends. <laughs> Well, it depends what type of ghosts, you know. No, no, let's, go for, let's go hunt for skinwalkers, Native American. <laughs> well, no, I'm not so good friend with Satan directly, mm -hmm. Lucifer, you know, no, no, we're not so good, no. <laughs> no, but they, they, are, they are spiritual forces, um, angel, demons, um, uh, that, that exist. And most people are not spiritual enough to be in tune with, it, with them, uh, but they exist. You won't be harmed by them unless you looking for them. Um, uh, and and I wouldn't call them out, you know, like or with Ouija board or something. Okay. Okay. <laughs> there's there's how much footage of like ghost of like these like oh, paranormal right. activity footage people, and not once did they ever find anything like remotely relevant to like actual ghosts. Like oh, right, right. Yeah, no, I don't know it is. Oh, then there's a squirrel trap in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're hearing all that. It's more <laughs> entertainment. Actually. Yeah, a lot so of it is that. Uh, but so they, like, sometimes a, ca a camera or a video can catch something. I definitely something. think your, your, your consciousness has the ability to stick around somehow. Yeah. Right. And like visualize what goes on after you die. Just because like your, your body functions after, like in ways, you know? Right, and then you, when you die, your soul is still present, close to the body. So they, they so are here. Right? Well, it is for the, for now, for a week. That, I mean, it goes little by little. First a week, wow. the most. Do you travel then the, the cosmos? That'd be wild. And then, does God tell you his whole spiel on the way up? Like, I created the world for this reason. And you're like, oh my God, this thing forever. Like seven, <laughs> eight, 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 Well, eight, yeah, there are all those stages. <laughs> I never did it myself. I mean, I did it probably in the previous life. So, um, but usually, you know, you come back as a reincarnation because you need to finish whatever you started. Yeah, I don't know. So. I hear you, but like, there's just no way to know. Well, we know from people who did. It. Yeah, people who, <laughs> who went there and came back, which we have one in the town. And the, 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 our Kabbalah tradition tells us a lot about it already. Um, uh, yeah, we have to understand. We are going back to what we used to know. Meaning, there was a tremendous amount of spirituality, right? Adam, Arishon, and Enoch, and Elio, and Abi, like people who could literally speak with angels, da, da, da. and then the world became more and more physical, yeah. and now we're, and, and we have lost that whole spiritual tradition, we, went, we became very knowledgeable scientifically, yeah, physically, right. and now we're going back it's to the spiritual. root and realizing that all that scientific and physical knowledge that we have actually is connected to the to its root, which is the old spiritual knowledge that we had before. That's why in the past they were actually much more knowledgeable. Yeah. On, and and 
Well, that's the big question, right? How they build the pyramids. Right, right. Well, it's crazy how they build the pyramids, not just in Egypt, but in e all over the Mexico. Right, right, I'll right. tell you how they build the pyramids in Mexico. There's a lot, there's a lot of uh, Mexicans, they have good workers. It's a compliment. Yes, that is a great compliment. No, that was a great Trying to figure out we, how we only need compliments here. I can tell you what they did. We're all I, I, believe the, work work I believe the limestone that they were working with thousands of years ago was a softer limestone. No, 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 no. It, wasn't a sim, it wasn't a similar limestone that we were working with. That, that could very much be. I believe after years of like, you know, and some said it was levitation. Thousands yeah. of more years of gravitation. Yeah. 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 There's some people that don't like to be owners. Like they yeah. like to, you know, tell me what to do. I'll just do it. Definitely some rather be an owner. I used to slave. be. Uh, uh, I, I want to like, be more of a you know, doer. Just tell me, like, but now that's it. I I'd rather be. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's a good job? You built it so far that like you can have people like run it by itself, and then you don't even have to. Feel like people are happy doing it. That's right. Like <laughs> that's like the that's like radiology. Radiology. Yes, that's not easy. That's not easy. Yeah, that's a cool like, thing to do. I just want to work and make my 70k. Like, yeah. Um, so 70k. 70k. Yeah. 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 Yeah
um, yeah, I, got, I gotta know what I'm living for, and most people don't. What, what are your principles? What are you ready to fight for? Right? It, it's very important. And the Torah gives you that, that position where if I want my life to water, I want my life to matter, I want to um, do something about it, and, and it requires real desire. And, and the key there here is desire. I don't really want it. Yeah. Let's say with everything. Okay. Yes, yes. But with God, all the more so. Don't think God is a computer. Don't right. think God is, 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 is that um, automatic thing. You do something good, ching ching, right. star, you do something bad, you know, <laughs> with a force, whatever, speech for. But uh, on the contrary, it's like God is going to reflect. It's like the law of attraction or karma, you know. God is going to reflect the level of energy of, of, of desire, of love, of want that you send is going to reflect it back to you, right? Kenegdo. Shivisi Hashem Kenegdi Tamid. Hashem is your Ezek Kenegdo. Right? So, um, and, and, our, and I want to specify here something very unique about the Jewish people because this is our life. Our life is to be able to become um, a projection of what's written here, right? Meaning, it is like I would down, I would download that into my mind and how to live it. And then when you see me act and speak and breathe and whatever action I do, every every move you make, right? Every breath you take is watching me, obviously. But the idea is, this is I, I'm going to be representing that. And now that enables us to understand why the twenty-four thousand student Rabbi Akiva. Uh, Die. 24,000 of people that are a million times more chashub than the rabbis of today, they are all in tzaddikim, right? Okay, they make a little mistake. Uh, they, they, you know, <laughs> they didn't respect each other. But what does that mean? What? Moshe didn't quick pay respect to the Jewish people at some, on, at some point. He got angry. And Avram also to, you know, uh, or, or, or Yaakov to Rachel when he told her, you know, stop crying. Like, why? They didn't die. So why did they, they were not uh, even as great as Abraham, Isaac, and Yaakov? So why those 24,000 students die? It, it doesn't make sense. Because those 24,000 students represent the, the, the idea of the Torah. They were supposed to be the transmitter of the Torah. You know, like a, tr a, tr a tr uh, transistor, or whatever, so whatever trans trans transfers the energy. How it's called? Trans transistor? Transmission. 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 Right. Whatever they store the energy to pass it down after and different on a different level of energy. Uh, transformer. Transformer, transformer. transformer. The transformer. So it's like twenty-four thousand transformer. And the problem was that if the transformer is defective, it's it's, it's not gonna work. Right. So, God had so to they had yeah, because they were not this. And therefore the thought is if someone will learn from them or um, try to become like them it will be a misrepresentation right. of what the Torah is. So, in a way, that's what it's telling about us, because we are all, who, who, what do we know about those 24,000 guys? We don't know. We don't even know their names. And we all, millions of Jewish people, every year, are, are, are not, you know, are cutting, not cutting the shaving, and they're not doing weddings, and we're, we don't listen to music during 33 days. Like, it's insane. Like, we don't even do that for the Holocaust. Right. Yes, I right? And that's six million, nine million, really, because the realization is nine million dead. And for the 24,000, we do like 33 days. And we have a show up. But what? So the idea is because this is what it means to become a student of Torah, to become a Jew, a, a Jew that lives the Torah. If we want to be a, an authentic Jew, it means that I have to understand that I need to become like a projector, a hologram of what the Torah is, right? It's like I put the chip, and then every move I make is a reflection of the Torah. But not any Torah, your Torah. Because we're not meant to be all the same, right? And and by the way, that was the problem with the Sunra Akiva also, where they didn't want to share the Torah and their own unique individuality. That was a lack of respect. I don't know, I 
I'm not going to teach my Torah, this is mine. The idea that each one of us has a unique, and by the way, this is something that I all want you to, to do, if you want. Um, each one of us is connected to the Torah. That's why he says there were 600,000 Jews and 600,000 letters of the Torah, which, which is not 600,000, but it represents every part that exists of the code. Each one of us has something to reveal about life and God connected to the Torah that no one else can reveal. That means that each one of us is, um, uh, I, I, I would say, uh, uh, Mr. A rabbi in that sense, but each one of us has something to teach to the world in Torah. Meaning that, you know, if uh, I thought of that today, the best is that we should all buy a book, right? Of you have those things, Chidusha Torah, where it's your own thought about the world and about God and about certain explanation of what the Torah means when it means, uh, when it says what it says. Can I say that again? What so I we'll have... mean that we should all have a, a notebook with you, our Chidushim, with our new insight, because there's an insight that you need to teach the world that is connected to the Torah, that no one else has. Just like your face is different than anyone else, there's something that you need to touch, to, to teach the world. Thank you. Uh, there's something that you need to teach the world that no one else can teach. Because no one had your experience, no one had your life, uh, your, 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 your family, your family you had, or friends you had, or experience you had, or thought. So, you have something to teach the world. And as a Jew, you need to know that because otherwise, you, you're gonna die. <laughs> not the, I'm not saying in a, in a, in a, in a bad way. That, that's, that's what makes, makes you a Jew as opposed to a non-Jew. As a non-Jew, non doesn't have the responsibility to teach the world uh, the, the Torah, so to speak. We, when we got made to God, we kind of became the suffering, the, 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 the people of the book. and. I have to understand that there is something unique I need to teach to the rest of the world. And you need to put it into writing, ideally. Because then you know it's, you will know you're fulfilling your mission as you do that. This is my experience. This is, journaling is very good anyway, just for a therapeutic thing, for releasing the whatever stress or trauma we have inside. But on top of that, your own um, explanation when you read the Torah or what God is or certain mitzvot only you will be able to explain it in a certain way and you know they have that thing called seven, 70 facets to the Torah but actually the Arizal says the 613,000 explanation of the Torah <laughs> so because it corresponds to the 613 mitzvot and they some say 600,000 613,000 and 600,000 also explanation because 600,000 souls that were Mount Sinai, right? So it means that each one of us has for every mitzvah something unique that he can give over because if you put on feeling like I put on feeling, God is not interested, right? It's true with all the traditions we see throughout, like, you know, right. based on where Jews were throughout their, throughout the history, you know? Absolutely, like absolutely. Uh, we, we um, I don't know if it's a, I think by men, they don't care, but by women, is it the problem if, like, if you dress with the exact same dress? Is that something like? Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the camera is in now for two days. <laughs> no, 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 but the same as someone else. On, uh, on the same day, at the same that moment. Really like you go wedding and you both have the exact same dress. Yeah. That's yeah. terrible, no? Yeah. No, yeah. because yeah. someone... <laughs> <laughs> because I heard, well, when did I hear that? Um, right, it's like dogs who got the same collar, best friend with a tattoo, got the same collar. Well, I don't know about right. that. But <laughs> no, but I just heard a story about, someone was saying a story, there was a woman who went to the queen. She was working with the queen, and she, the queen of England, Elizabeth, um, 
and she was she put the same outfit exactly as the queen and she was so embarrassed because she's the queen and I put something it's like I'm putting royal royalty clothing and so she didn't know how, like what to do and then later on she wrote a letter to the queen she said, I really apologize for wearing the same clothes as you I didn't mean any disrespect and she, and the Queen Elizabeth responded, uh, um, my dear, don't worry, um, royalty doesn't worry about other people's clothing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Which are different ways to look at it. But yeah, if you're royal, it's like, it's, it's, that's not what I, it can be taken in a good way or in a very bad way. It depends, mm -hmm. knowing Queen Elizabeth, you know, no. <laughs> I don't know her. Um, but the idea is that, that yeah, each one needs to have its own unique garment, its own unique uh, cloth, and to be able to to find its uniqueness. So try to um, write down your unique thought on the universe, on the world. Sometimes they're going to be similar to something that has been told before, but sometimes it's going to be something really fresh with a, a, a new outlook um, that only you has brought. You know, we know a lot of books. Where, how many books on love keep coming out, right? But each one has a new one inside maybe that has, right? Sometimes it's not, but um, in the, especially when it comes to the Torah, that's one of our, our, our things. Um, so yeah, so uh, that those are some of, of the stuff um, you know, I want to share in terms of getting ready for Shavuot and trying to, um, to be able to, you know, uh, connect on your own, especially as a, we're having a relation with God and imagining uh, who you are, what you can be within your relation to God, and also trying to access, showing the desire to access something that can change you because now you will be, as a real Jew, leaving whatever your own message is. But you need to um, understand that you're, you have a special mission as a Jew, right? And that, that's where it all started. When we were ch became as chosen people, we chose God also. But it meant that from now on, we're going to be different than anyone else. And I need to deliver. So each one of you has to deliver. You don't need to be a rabbi to write novelties about the world. You, we all have something unique to deliver. Um, any questions? It's good to see you. Oh, it's always a pleasure to be seen, especially by you. Thank you. Ah. Rush here. Uh, you, you're going to be there for Schwartz? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Ride the I'll see you after tomorrow. I'm going to bring my scooter back. Oh, yeah. Let's go to Muncie. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, any questions otherwise, um, or do you, is there anything you want to discuss? So our um, job is to like write down on a path. No, it's not that. It, no, yeah, it's it's part of the process of becoming and, and teaching to the world what it is that you're meant to give, right? It's like we're we're all gonna we're all here to give something unique to help you express that and to give it and make you more conscious of it, have a journal where you can write it down or a blog or you know whatever it is. Um, it's oh, ghost. When 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 Moshe come, um, he said that every one of us is gonna have to teach the non-Jewish world about Judaism, right? And so if we don't leave it now, if we don't, we haven't learned, we won't be able to teach it. But, and we will, oh, thank you so much. And we won't, we won't, we won't need to um, rely on someone else to teach it because everyone will have to teach it in its own unique way. So that, that's, uh, everybody will participate in that, so to speak. Um, do you know that currently there's thousands and thousands, I mean, tens of thousands, if not in the hundred of thousands of people Non-Jewish people are learning Torah all over the world. You know that. South Korea. <laughs> what? South Korea. 
Well, no, it's not for our yet, but that, that's all news already. That I'm saying nowadays there are tens of thousands, if not more, of Jew, uh, non-Jews, sometimes Christian, Muslim a little bit, but mostly Christians, and a lot of um, what we call righteous Gentiles, right? I mean, non-Jews who believe that the Torah is really from God, that that the Jews are the chosen people, and they practice the seven laws that not humanity are supposed to follow. Well, no, that's different. That's uh, in Israel. Like, that's that's also if they have to follow that too. Yeah, but um, uh, if you live in Israel, but the seven Noahide laws. Um, uh, there's a Noahide movement, and there are. If you go on Facebook, there's a lot of groups, far to the nation. So. It, the world is changing, and, and a lot of non-Jews, I, I get calls and questions from non-Jews all the time. Oh, you know, what, as a non-Jew, how should I keep uh, Shavuot, or, or what, what should I do? Um, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's trying to keep Shavuot? For, yeah, there are thousands of non-Jews now who, so who, keep sha, who, who keep Shabbos in their own way. Whatever, they're not supposed to keep Shabbos, but keep Shabbos in their own way, or do a day of, of rest, and they do... They keep kosher. A lot of non-Jews keep kosher. You'll be surprised how many. Um, huh? And a lot do. Um, yeah, they. I open the. Someone put themselves through. No, no. Be, it, yeah, because for them it's not. I'm following a law, you know, a commandment. I, it's how do I get close to God as as a human being? And they believe that the Torah and the Jews is, is true, and and they have learned read the Bible. And to become Jewish. No, no, there's no mitzvah for them to become Jewish. Why would you want to become Jewish? They, a non-Jew has an, a mission just like a Jew, but it's a different mission. And it's like you say... Uh, uh, but what do they get out of it? They get all of Yeah, they get all of Abba for, for, the, for the seven laws. Yeah, it's their mission. Meaning they're going to fulfill themselves. It's, it, it's like... Um, yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's men. not the same on Abba as a Jew. No, unless it's not the same. Can, unless they convert. Right, so right. Have, so they, they have, have the choice. They have, they have the choice. Just like we got the choice. Oh, by the way, that's one thing I didn't mention before. Teach them Judaism. Why are we pushing them away from Judaism? No, nobody's pushing them away from Judaism. We're supposed to, technically. No. Show me where. I suppose that this part that's, that's why that's why we're taught. We, converting, no? Right. No. We, yeah. We're supposed to make them understand that if you convert. You might be persecuted. It's it's you have to do six months at the mitzvah. It's a big responsibility. That's why you put that. But the way it's told that we have to reject them, that's completely wrong, and it's misused and it's abused. A lot of convert who who uh, really had only good intentions, and it's not. That's not. But they obviously did it because if they really wanted it, then they would have converted. No, because I know converts who they they were rejected. Nobody even answered their phone. Even like after more much more than three times. And, and and you know, allegedly, deoraisa, deoraisa, deoraita, according to Torah, if someone wants to convert and say, "I want to become Jewish," right? Obviously, not to get married to someone, but uh, but I want to, <laughs> I want to be Jewish. You have to accept them right away, as if they started already there. So why you, we saw like when what's it called when the guy came over to Shammai? Like, yeah, and we don't pass him like that. We don't pass him like that. We pass him like Besila. Right? How do you convert? How does someone convert? Well, you just give me a hundred thousand bucks and I'll do it. It will be easy in my bathroom. That's it. No, I'm just kidding. I can just tell okay, you're Jewish. No, yeah. How do you become Jewish? No, you become Jewish by... You need to be in front of a... For sure, you have to learn what you need to do, right? But the main process basically is you need to dip in the mikveh, right? Uh-huh. Just like we do at the church, right? That's, that's where they got it, the, the yeah. baptism. Yeah. And uh, you need to um, have a grease if you're a man. Right. And um, it's better to be a woman <laughs> in this case. Yeah. And, and, um, uh, and to make the commitment in front of three judges, or it can be three Orthodox Jews, who um, or trustworthy Jews who accept you as, uh, accept you coming witness that you, you say, I want to be Jewish from now. So I want to be American, yeah. 
right? I won't be Jewish, right? So that, that's the process. You need a bed deen. Yeah, you need a bed deen. You need a bed deen. Um, well, technically, you need, no, yeah, you need a bed deen. Yeah. Bed deen. So that, that's, that's the, 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 how we do it. And today, it takes sometimes longer because they need to learn. And, and one of the main reasons why we push them to learn so much and, and most non-Jews who convert becomes greater Jews than Jews themselves, meaning they know they have more knowledge. They're more careful, I agree with all that because they, they ask everything. The reason we, we, we do that is for them to feel comfortable among Jews that the people shouldn't say, oh, look uh, how he does things. He's a non Jew. He's a convert. That's a big problem. We're not. Converts, according to the Arizal, have a soul that is higher than, than, than a Jew. It's a more, the root of their soul is higher. And they, it comes from. A deeper place. That's why David Amir had to come from uh, Ruth, Ruth who converted to him the more, and things like that. So they are very, very high souls. Converts are very, very, very high souls. But real yeah. converts, obviously. I never understood why the holiest things come from the lowest places. Oh, and I only that's like an analogy. It's I the heard. biggest secret in the world. It's the, like a slingshot. The lower it is, but it's how a, does that make sense? I don't it, get it. Because we, the, the more effort you put in something, the more it shows that you want it and that you have earned it, basically. It's, it's, you want to give the prize to the one who devotes themselves the most, to really want and show that they're ready to go through that in order to prove you their loyalty, to prove you their love, to prove you, right? That, that's with no pain, no gain. It's not just that, it's also a sham. Chosen the Shamot from the lowest place to give to Sadiqim. So why did he do that? What was. Um, like I because, oh, the, the reason according to Kabbalah is because in order, when something is very holy spiritually, all the forces of negativity want to destroy it. That's why it says uh, Sadiqim is surrounded constantly by demons and things trying to right. bring them. Um, they always have problems, you know, sickness, uh, things like that. That's why I don't want to be a Sadiqim. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let my all the people. Do it. Um, so basically, you become a target. Right, you become an easier target. If yeah. if you act, if you um, so, in order for something very spiritually and holy to be revealed into the world, for it not to be stopped, it is it goes through a process that it looks like it's impossible that something good is going to come out of it. For example, Ruth. Who came from the Moabites, which is an incest between the father and the mo and the daughter. So the forces of evil say nothing good can come out of the relation between a father and her daughter, even if it was good in intention, right? So, so there was nobody else. And and and, um, and same thing with um, with David Amele. Everybody thought he was a mamzer. He himself thought he was a mamzer. He didn't know the story, right? So. Uh, 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 even he had a tremendous soul. Nobody, the, the forces of Megiddo didn't attack him. He got a, he had to fight his whole life after when he became king. But for it to come out, it's always uh, it's the same principle of birth. Why the moment of birth is the most dangerous moment in a woman's life, physically for her, her body? Right? People, women used to die from giving birth. Nowadays, thank God, we have technology or whatever the way it is. It's easier. But in the past, it was you or the baby, you know, sometimes. And, and it's the most physically painful. There was no epidural, especially. It's still painful with the epidural. I know, testify for my wife. Um, <laughs> but it's why the mo you ask a woman, what's the most painful moment of your life? Is the birth. What's the most happy moment, moment of your life? The birth, like, are you bipolar or something? You know? No, she's not bipolar. It's because the moment when you give you all, that's when the most beautiful thing come out. And that's what really God is explaining for us, is give me your all. Because all of me loves all of you. But it has to be all, 100%. 100% me. Marriage is not 50-50. It's 100%, 100%. And, um, and in a, in, we live in a world where people, you know, they're just syntax. <laughs> we, we, we are lazy, we are, uh, only our thumb 
doing exercise. <laughs> we don't go to the gym anymore. Um, I mean, some do. I can't really no, I, I, I think in general, but but in in America, especially with technology, you have been reduced to, you know, being in that. Anybody saw the Wally movie? Wally, right? Okay, so in, in there, there's a scene about with. Basically, fat people, they're in the space station and they're on, on the type of uh, surfing um, hoverboard. hoverboard like that, and they, uh, and they have a screen like that, that fat, and, and, and they, it travels for them, and, and they do, you can be speaking to someone next to you, but you're only on the iPad, and they don't move anything, everything comes to them, and they try like that, and that's, it's it's an it's it's a parody of you know of, of, of we really what we we're, we're getting at if we don't we're not we careful. We really have worse than that. It's called the metaverse. Put on the headset. Right. Yeah. You wake up. You drive to work in the it's, metaverse. It's true. You work. It's, it, you drive back home. It, it is crazy. <laughs> and then you slide back into your bed. And it's all on your headset. No, and you might forget to eat or drink. Because it <laughs> it, it is it is crazy. It is crazy. Yeah. And you and do exercise. You go to the sport. <laughs> And with your friends, it is that's that's the danger. Ah, right. Uh, are you speaking about the metaverse? Here you go. Yeah, <laughs> I just brought it up. So, so that's the challenge. Where are you guessed? All the way from Borough Bor Park. Borough Bor Park. Bor 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 wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what, what's your name? Aaron. Aaron Fast. Fast. Aaron Fast. Yes. What's your name? Uh, Rabbi Mikhail. This is the famous, okay. <laughs> famous <laughs> Rabbi Gamal. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> the meta Rabbi. <laughs> okay, thank you everybody for coming. No, <laughs> um, no, we, we were concluding, uh, in fact, uh, but um, I'm ready to go uh, as far as you need. Um, but the, yeah, so we're saying that that we have a tendency to to do less and less when really. Um, are you know meant to be constantly proactive, meaning very emotionally and physically active, and we've got to show God that. That's what's missing the most. How many people run to shul, like or to yeshiva? How many, right? And we know in the shul it's a mitzvah. I almost never saw that. Maybe once or twice I've seen, but usually they run because they have to go to work. They run out, out of shul. The opposite, right? Like, where is the excitement? Where is the desire? Where is, is the adrenaline of being a Jew? Of saying, so Shavuot is a moment where we have an opportunity to show our excitement. That's why we stay up all night, right? And, and, and to, to repair the fact that we woke up late, so to, so to speak, on Shavuot. It's like, you know, it's your, it's your you marry in the morning, and, and you're still in bed, and your, your Kala, she's all dressed up, you say, you don't really want to get married to me. Otherwise, you, you know, you'll be all, <laughs> all ready, all that. So, so, so how much do you want God, right? And Shavuot is the moment where we celebrate anniversary. Why do we do, why do, we do anniversaries? Why do we do anniversaries? Because you're basically reaffirming to your spouse that you still excited, just like the first day, right? Uh, uh, you know about that, right? And by the way, the whole nida that we say, right, is 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 about that. Also, is a renewal of I want to be with you the same way, or even a high level than I was with you the first time. I want it to be as as new, as exhilarating, as exciting. So as passionate. So this this is we are making sure that our relation with God, love relationship, is not getting uh, routine. Because if it becomes routine, as it says, with um, self destruction on the second table, mitzvah and Hashem ilumada. You do mitzvahs out of road. It's like you you make sex out of road with your spouse. Out of what? Out of road. Out of road. Out of, out of habit. Oh, um, oh yeah, it's time to have sex. Okay, good night, darling. Was not sex. That, that's that's <laughs> not what being making love is, <laughs> right? The, it, it, but you'll be surprised because I work with couples all the time. How much?
sexuality or, or you know, intimacy has become uh, routine, routine and, and not happened? love and... After how long does average happen? How many years? Is there like a number that... <laughs> yeah, five months. <laughs> no, no uh, is there an average number? It's not transaction. Too fast. No, uh, I would say after a few years. Mm. Uh, like five years. But unless you work five on years. Unless you work on it. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. But most couples. If you work with Rabbi G, no problem. <laughs> uh, in the fr French secrets, no, but the idea is, yes, you need, you, you need to work on your relationship and on your intimate relationship too. And, and it's the same thing with Hashem, right? On Shabbat night is the night where we say we don't sleep with our wife because we're sleeping with Hashem, so, so to speak. That, that's, that's the only night. Be because it's a night where we're going to express how much I want him. How, how passionate, how desperate are you to know the love of your life, which is God. Who, God will give you everything. God will give you your life. If I would save you right now, right from death, you would love me, right? Of course. Exactly. So God has saved you many times from that. He gives you everyday food. He gives you, you know, women or men, and he gives you delicious food, cholent, I mean, kind of, kishke, you know, or, or, or vodka, or whatever it is that you like, croissant, <laughs> croissant, uh, you know, and, 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 and he gives you the Torah, he gives you the pleasure of love, of joy, of, of nature, of, like, there's this so much goodness, and we're bored. You say, oh, but I need a Sorry, sorry? The seven layers of the Shemayim are open, right? Um, yes. So, let me ask you a question. So, let's say you're with your wife. It's not possible. That was true, you would see God. No, but we all see God. No, you, it's, 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 there's a way to access high levels. That access, if you, are, if you prepare yourself for it. The thing is like this. So, let's say, is it more of a mitzvah on Shavuot to be with your wife? Because you're... No. Because you're with like, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's it's uh, it's no, no, it's a myth because because you're like one the shama. So no, uh, it's because you need to, you need to you, the whole reason you have a spouse a woman is to be able to be one with God, right? You're right. You and your wife technically is one, but the idea is. That your your spouse help you become a better mate for God, right? But but that's it. so there has to be a time where I focus only on God in order to see well, how am I doing. It's it's usually a reflection of your of your of your spouse, or, right? Or your girlfriend. If you truly love, experience what it is that love what love is, mm -hmm. right? Then. When you do it with God, you see if you are on the same. Much, much better, the different level. Right, and you see if, if, if it's if you have that with God too, because with God it should be even more. It's a, it's a different pleasure, you know. It's a different. It, it is different, but the Rabbi Yehuda Hasid says the love for God should be much higher than if you have an orgasm. What? That's more. <laughs> yeah, that's. Somebody record this. That, that's 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 not from the French rabbi. That's, <laughs> that's from Rabbi Yehuda Hasid in Sefer Hasidim. He says that. What? Yeah. So, so we, we are talking about a very intense, tangible experience of God, a real desire to, to, to be with Him. And, and on Shabbat night, that's why we stay up all night to show and express that excitement and that desire and how, how much we want it, how much we want to connect. And that's, that's why we invest the whole night just for that. So, happy anniversary, everyone. Thank you, everybody. Um, any last. Uh, Wishes or question or no? Okay, thank God. Thank you.